Hello everyone, my name is Rituro and I'm trying to become a Brazilian hero. Our featured match today is the opening match of the third division, Group B, Londrina versus Guarani. Should be a should be an interesting one. Guarani are along with Londrina, one of the uh, dark horses to go up at the end of the season. Tom Bense is the prohibitive favorite at 5 to 4 odds. Londrina, Juventud, and Guarani are at 5 to 1. Brazil de Pelotas are at 6 to 1 to go up. Top 4 qualify. As long as we can get there and get into that quarterfinal, anything is possible. Speaking of anything being possible, as you can see here over in the Paraná State Championship, or the Paraná State Championship, unfortunately we lost in the second leg 2-1 to Coritiba, but boy did we make them work for it. A nil all first leg gave us hope, and a red card to one of their fullbacks also gave us hope, but sadly, we just could not find that equalizing goal to go to penalties, not for a lack of trying. A fantastic game. Coritiba deserved winners, but Londrina made them work for it. Very, very happy with their performance. So the other thing to look at here in the Brazilian Cup is our other set of competitions. We are still in the second round. Ready for the second leg against Internacional. After beating them 1-0 at home, which is so very wonderful. An amazing Patrick with its first minute goal, which means after this match against Guarani, we have a chance to advance to the third round. The Brazilian Cup surpassing our expectations, which is going to be fantastic. The board's got to be happy with that, and I will be happy if we can get a little bit of money out of it, because we are still hemorrhaging money all over the place. Uh, spoiler alert, that's not good. What is good, though, is they're on the squad, uh, the squad building front. We have managed to find a decent backup for Celzinho. Celzinho, of course, a just lights out amazing defender this season. Had no really solid backup. Maicon Campanolo was not someone I trusted exactly. That has now changed. We have Cristiano, who is primarily a wing back, but he can also play at full back, and he's being trained there. Unfortunately, he is now injured, because of course, someone should get injured in training shortly after I sign them. I believe that's how that works. But Chico, though, who just got his professional debut in that match, that cup match, 21, looking pretty solid, 6.8 season average. He's a, he's a kid I think we can build around. He's fit, he's got stamina, he can head, got a great first touch, he can cross the ball, his marking needs some work, but he's 21, he's got tons of room to grow, and I'm, uh, I'm definitely excited. But having him as an understudy to Celzinho, in fact, let's see if we can get Celzinho to tutor Chico while we're here tutoring. Would you do it? And, oh, fantastic. You think Celzinho's been good. Imagine him passing on his knowledge of the game to young Chico there. That's going to be... Oh, I have... I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good already. This should be a fun time. So with that situation all under control, the right backs are now fine. Our next problem is in goal. Guillerme has improved. He's 1.5. He's getting older. He's learning some stuff. But he's still not going to be our goalkeeper of the future. His potential just isn't there. Unless he spikes up quickly, I can't see him being with us next season. Especially if we get promoted. Marcelo Rangel is uh, not in any way, shape, or form a starting goalkeeper in this division or any other. Which means we have to start looking at replacements. This is an ongoing theme. So what we found so far... A couple of options here. Marcelo Carne and Gother, Or Gother, perhaps, are the ones that I am most excited about. Uh, Josiel is also an option at 23. Very good physicals. Uh, we'll see how... Uh, are looking at Gotia goes. Carne had a ton of potential when we first looked at him. That has since been scaled back. Now that we're actually, you know, looking at him. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll also, I think, keep an eye on uh, Yosiel in case he gets picked up. And if I don't think that I remember to scout Gotia, I did not. All right. So at least those are our top three picks in goal to succeed Guillerme, or at least to provide him with some challenge to get us through the next phase of. The save file. That, of course, being trying to become a Brazilian hero. Speaking of next phase, though, now that we have wrapped up the Paraná State Championship, now, 
Oh, now we must move on to the third division. Now we have no Silvio. Of course, he had to go to injured in training. Two to three weeks of a groin strain, and he is suspended for the cup match against Internacional, which is also not good. So in his place, we'll probably put Italo next to Luizao. Depau has just come back from injury. He'll go on the bench. And what else do we have here? Jardiel, I think, deserves to be there. So Zinho, I rested. I actually took him off at halftime so that she could get his debut for the explicit purpose of having him fresh as a daisy for this opener. Patrick has been fantastic. I see no reason to take him out. Everybody else looking good. Germano didn't have a good day at the office uh, in the uh, in the first leg against Internacional. So uh, Jumar has taken his spot for the time being, though rotation will still be happening. Uh, Murillo still doing his uh, his sub duty, his asymmetrical trump card duty. Nine appearances, one goal. He's still got some value. I don't know if I'm going to be renewing his contract because again, we are still gl just grossly over budget. So we'll see. All right, I believe that's the team we want to go into this match with. Let's kick off the third division in style. Yes, so Silvio will definitely be a miss, but as long as they're missing two. 4-2-3-1 against the 4-2-2-2. Very common formation that I've been seeing in this division. And so far, we've been doing well. We've also been following Pedrinho Maradona's instructions to break every ankle in sight. With uh, mixed results. All right, they, uh, they're they buying it. They know they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with first division sides. A third division side should be no problem as we kick off the season at home in the third division. Londrina and their blue and white. Their opponents in green and white. Girani looking good in that green and white kit. But it might not be enough. Oh, Ronaldo. Not that one. <laughs> Very nearly. We are gifting the ball to them. That's fine. That's how we play. We go straight for goal. And it's worked out more often than not. I was recently praised in the media for having shipped or having scored so many goals in so few matches. So uh, I would say my approach is working. I'm confident with that. That corner, though, does not exactly fill me with confidence. And Jumar has to chase it down. Fagala retreats. Italo. Zerafael. Celzinho. That is cleared. Niguinho starts the attack. He's actually a good, could be a good counter here. But Celzinho does the correct thing and tactically fouls him. Alan Diaz. Yusandro. Cross is good, but Italo's header is there. Niguinho. Oh, that was a... Just a little bit lower, and we might be seeing a 1-0 game already. Two shots to one. There we go, 3-2. More long balls? Sure. A little caution? Sure. It's not like I've been told to break every angle in sight or anything. Salzinho looking for Patrick. That ball does not get there. Salzinho wins the ball, and then goes for the ball in that order. Salzinho. Good cross. Patrick can't get there. Rafael Santos will calmly boot that clear. Edmar, Zé Rafael, Cezinho. Again looking for Patrick. Ends up, <laughs> ends up going straight to the keeper. Awkwardly out for a corner and Zé Rafael will try again. No joy on those corners so far. Close Eric down. I think we've already been breaking his ankles, so hey, why not? Is it Rafael? Oh, tried his luck from distance. Not a bad idea there. He had room. Rafael Santos equals the task. Shooting is looking accurate. So if, if it, that keeps up, it's only a matter of time before we find the goal. You have to think. And young Jardiel does well to start the attack. Unfortunately, the ball is given away. Diogo Roque will restart. All the way back to Guillerme. Guillerme. 
to Rafael. Patrick. Oh, he's got it under control. Leads for Rafael Gava. Blocked. Kigurok. Sazinho. To Rafael! Brought down. No call. Clean tackle, they say. A drab match so far. I don't know. It's been alright. I don't think we can get a win. Uh, let's look at the opposition here. Yeah, I don't know about all of this ankle breaking. Might not be necessary. Might not be necessary. If they start scoring, of course, I'll take the blame for that. But I'm going to say maybe don't constantly hammer their strikers. Edmar. Salzino. So Rafael. Edmar. Jadiel. Brought down, and that'll be the end of that. Not for long, though. So Rafael's corner. Can't find Diogo Rook. Rafael Gava. Edmar. There's some replacement there. Was that a pass or a shot? Either way, it looked good. <laughs> Ultimately saved by Rafael Santos. Guarani, not being overawed by the uh, by the situation. Patrick, though, with the nice steal. Oh, it's a lovely goal from Patrick. Curse of the commentator strikes this time in my favor. And Londrina have their first goal of the third division. And who else but that young stud, Patrick? Pasando's a little bit, kind of strand himself a little bit there in no man's land. Couldn't make himself big enough and get to that ball. Works for me, though. That works for me. 1-0. Good start. Jardia looking a little bit beaten up there. Though. Let's bring on Paulinho. It's a long season. Make sure everybody is nice and healthy. All right. We're also going to give Rafael Gava a break. Nitinho is back from his injury. Bring him in. And I think just to keep the... I don't know, Paulinho's going to take this one. Maybe there's something else here. Paulinho. Edmar! See, Barafel Santos. Edmar. Oh, he was close. We'll bring off Jumar. We'll bring on Bidia. He's a deep-lying playmaker, so he'll swap him with a Diogorok. Bidia hasn't had much time on the pitch in recent matches owing to their importance, so let's get him on for this third division match. Keep the likes of Diogo and Jumar somewhat fresh for the rest of the season. Niguinho is uh, nowhere close. Nowhere close at all. Oh, Natinho, come on. You just came back from injury. You can stay on. Figure it out. Cezinho. Okay, Iquinho. Oh, just over the bar and Londrina escape. Londrina 1, Garini nil. In this third division opener. Having already stormed their way to a dominant Parana State Championship, Londrina looking to make it a good start in the third division, and Patrick denied at the near post by Rafael Santos. The Londrina striker has truly made his mark this season, and I like it. Sandro. Cerezinho. Vidia. It's Rafael. Edmar. Vidia. Patrick. Netinho! That's why you leave him on. Flag stays down. Ball goes in net. 2 0 Londrina. Oh, fantastic stuff. Suspicions of offside, they say. Let's take a look here. So there's the ball from Bidia. Patrick. Oh, yeah. You know what? There's a good call there for offside. 
I mean, Edmar is clearly offside, but yeah, Nitinho does look like he's past the line of the last defender. Yeah, there's a good shout there for offside. You could say that maybe the run of Yusandro here keeps him on. No, the ball's played there, and he's clearly already there. So yeah, no, that's that goal should not have counted. But it did, and uh, such is life. Meanwhile, Zazinho gets a card for diving, so uh, strong work there. Rafael Santos, Leandro Amaro, Gladstone, Quino. Yeah, just four minutes left on the clock here. As long as we don't do anything stupid, we should get out of this with a very confident start to our season. Idmar. Of course, as we all know, doing something stupid is like my calling card in these kind of saves. Foligno to Patrick! Oh, Natinho has a second! That one looked legitimate! No hint of offside that one. Paulinho with the assist. Usually it's Celzinho bombing in those crosses, but this time Paulinho shows how it's done. Well, that's a very nice one. Patrick can't quite get there. The ball falls to Natinho. Keeper actually looks like he gave up on that one a little bit. Possible match engine bug there, but I'll take it. Oh, make it for Italo on the set piece. The defender. The near post flick on the bane of teams everywhere. A nice free kick, too. Bip, little volley. Oh, where is Rafael Santos? He was nowhere near the predict predicted flight of that ball. And uh, Italo will get himself... Oh, no, just a talking to. That's fine. Well, it was a close match for the first hour, and then it all fell to pieces for Girani. 4-0 Londrina. And a very confident 4-0. That really should have been 3-0. One of those goals very much offside. But a good win is a good win, and a three-point start to the campaign is a three-point start to the campaign. That's what I like to see from Londrina. Next time on Brazilian Hero, we will be at the conclusion of the National Third Division Championship, or season, I guess. It should be a good one. We play each other team twice, as you might expect, for moving into the second phase. So at the end of the first phase, we will be up against... Brasil de Pelotas. Six to one, I believe, with their odds of going up. So they will be uh perhaps around the uh around the championship fight, though they are second after a strong win in their first match. Should be a good one. My name is Arturo. Thank you for watching everybody. If you like what you've seen, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, tell all your friends about these videos on YouTube, and don't forget every episode is recorded live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash is where all these live streams happen. Come into Twitch chat, join us. It's a great time for all involved. We even got people speaking French now, which is fantastic. Everybody's welcome to watch me try and become a Brazilian hero. My name is Arturo. Thank you for watching, everybody. We will see you next time.